Hello students I hope all of you are fit and fine today we are going to discuss this safety and first aid chapter which is chapter number 3 in your textbook and we will be discussing question and answers from this chapter so let us immediately start so students let us begin with tick the correct answer first question if you get cut by a dirty or rusted object you may get the options are a fracture a sprain rabies tetanus so what should be the correct answer the correct answer is tetanus the next question is the rabies virus is carried by the options are cockroaches hens dogs rabbits so what should be the correct answer the correct answer is dogs okay so let us tick mark dogs let us see next question the next question is for putting out a fire caused by petrol we should options are switch off the electricity supply turn off the gas supply throw water on it throw lots of sand on it so what is the better option the best option is throw lots of sand on it okay because sand cuts off the oxygen supply to the fire so it can very well extinguish the fire so throwing a sand on a fire caused by petrol is always a good option okay let us move on to the next question the next question is nail polish naphthalene balls and paints may contain the options are sugar salt poison juice what is the correct answer the correct answer is poison okay nail polish naphthalene ball and paints may contain poison okay so we should always keep small kids children away from this particular chemicals well let us move on to the next question the next question is fill in the blanks okay this is your b question and in that the first one is when the skin is cut by a rusted object the injection one must take is called a dash injection so what is the correct answer the correct answer is anti tetanus injection second question dash causes swelling and sometime discoloration of the skin so what is the answer the correct answer is sprain sprain causes swelling and sometime discoloration of the skin let us see third question an easily available object like sheets of newspaper or a pillow can be used as dash to give support to a broken bone and the answer to this is splint okay an easily available object like sheets of newspaper or pillow can be used as splint to give support to the broken bone let us see fourth fill in the blank if a fire is caused by an electrical gadget do not throw dash on it the answer is water do you know why water we should not throw on electrical gadgets because water being a good conductor of electricity it can cause even more trouble so we should avoid throwing water on electrical gadget okay fifth question destroy all dash which have crossed their expiry dates the answer is medicines we should always throw away the medicines which have crossed their expiry dates well students the next question is write short answers and in that first one is what is tourniquet here you have to write the answer tourniquet is a bandage tightly tied over the wound to stop bleeding so we use tourniquet to stop bleeding second question which articles could be used as a splint in a case of fracture here you will write an easily available article like sheets of newspaper magazine piece of cardboard or a pillow could be used as a splint to support a fracture okay third question what is sling here you will write a sling is made from a triangular piece of cloth which is used for support fourth question name the disease caused by a virus carried by dogs and cats here the answer should be rabies rabies is caused by virus carried by dogs and cats students let us see fifth question the fifth question is when someone's clothes catches fire we must not let him run around in panic why 
Here you will write, if a person's cloth catches fire, we must not allow him to run around in panic because this fans the flames. Okay, so fire increases if you allow person to run around because running causes supply of oxygen to the fire. Okay, so supply of oxygen to the fire increases when person runs around. Okay, so we should not allow him to run. Students, now let us see long answer questions. And in that first one is, what first aid should be given in case of minor wound? Here you will write, wash away all dirt around the wound, clean the affected area with cotton wool soaked in an antiseptic lotion. Place a thick pack of cotton wool or sterile gauze on the wound and press it with your thumb and fingers. This stops the bleeding. A tunicate can be used. This is a bandage tightly tied over the wound to stop bleeding. I will repeat the answer. Wash away all dirt around the wound. Clean the affected area with cotton wool soaked in an antiseptic lotion. Then you will write, place a thick pad of cotton wool or sterile gas on the wound and press it with your thumb and fingers. This stops the bleeding. A tunicate can also be used. This is a bandage tightly tied over the wound to stop bleeding. Well, the second question is, how would you help someone with a bleeding nose? Here you will write, keep the patient upright in a comfortable position with his head held back. Praise the bleeding side of the nose firmly. Keep an ice pack or wet cloth on the nose and the head of the patient. Ask the patient to breathe through his mouth and not to blow his nose. A little bit of bleeding from the nose is harmless. But if bleeding is heavy, send the patient to the doctor. Okay, students. Now, let us see third question. The third question is, what is a splint? How and why should it be used? Here you will write, a splint is used to give support to the broken bone and try to avoid unnecessary movement. An easily available article like sheets of newspaper, magazine, a piece of cardboard or a pillow could be used as a splint. This prevents movement and helps broken bone to Okay, so this is how you can support your broken bone, okay, with the help of splint. Fourth question, we must not prick blisters, why? Here you will write, sometimes the skin gets severely burned and blisters are formed. We should never try to prick a blister because an open blister is an open wound and it can cause infection, it can catch infection and that is why we should never prick a blister. Fifth question. How will you put out a fire caused by defective wiring? Here you will write, if a fire has been caused by defective wiring or an electric gadget, do not throw water on it. This can cause electrocution. Immediately turn off the main switch. Smother the fire by throwing sand over it or else you can use fire extinguisher also. So this is how you can put out the fire caused by defective wiring. Well, students, let us see last question for a day. The question is, what first aid should be given in case of an animal bite? Here you will write, wash the wound with the soap and water to remove germs as the virus which cause rabies or hydrophobia may be carried in the saliva of an infected animal. Dogs, wolves, Bats and cats are known to carry the rabies virus. Apply an antiseptic lotion to prevent infection. Bandage the wound with a sterile gauze and rush the victim to a doctor. So this is how you can give first aid to a person who has faced this animal bite. Well students, that was all from my side. If you have any question, feel free to ask. You can put your questions in comment box. Thank you for listening to me. See you during next session with a new topic. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.